Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos here first off for titillating tactical Elden Ring gameplay. So we just finished taking down Flying Dragon Agil. That's actually connected with the Yura quest line. Yura could be found right here just east of Seaside Runes. Um, I don't believe we spoke to him yet. That's optional to speak to him uh, before killing Flying Dragon Agil. We're going to speak to him shortly, uh, but first... Let's go to the round table. Alright. Pass the fireplace into the room where you meet the blacksmith and pass him and in, into this room here. Let's talk to Fia. Fia, what's up? Greetings, great champion How called do you? by grace. Oh yeah, okay. I am Fia. Hey, how you doing? Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion. Would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout-heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion, and you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Okay, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to refuse. Your disdain is but should you change. come pay me. And let's take a look at our health. Our health is currently 680, alright? Now we're going to go through with this, okay? Oh, had a change of heart. Oh, okay, accept. thanks, great champion. Okay, just keep it above the equator, okay? Let her hold you. And you get Baldekin's Blessing. You are very warm. There we go. Thank you very what much. What you felt light up inside you was a Balderkin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. I don't feel any different, Slack. Okay, this is what Baldwin's Blessing is all about. It appears in your inventory, it's right there. What it does is it increases your armor by a whopping 35%. Okay, but there is a penalty. You do take a, a small hit to your health. So remember I pointed out that our HP was previously at 680, now it's at 646. And this will be like this as long as you have this in your inventory. This is a one-shot use. You use it, it lasts for 15 seconds to increase your armor for 30 for by 35%, and then once it's used, it disappears and your health goes back to normal. Alright, so that's what this is used for. And you can get as many of these as you like. You can come back and get another one. Alright? So everybody got one of those. Now uh, let's go talk to Yura. As I mentioned earlier, he's connected with the Agil Lake dragon and you can first meet him right here right beside seaside runes i don't think we actually spoke to him but that's optional the first time so it's the second time in fact but let's go do that anyway so everybody goes seaside runes okay and he's to the east right underneath that thing there When you talk to him the first time, he warns you about the dragon in the lake. Gives you a dire warning. Okay, now it's the second time. What's up, Yura? Ah, you must be the new tarnished. Beautiful work. Felling that dragon. Well, thank you. And as such, there's something you might like to know. The heart you brought back. It's used in dragon communion. If you should find yourself overcome by hunger for the heart, Yearning for its strength, then seek the decrepit church on the little island off the western coast. Okay, and what he's talking about is this island right here. 
which you can only get to by going through the coastal cave. Go through the coastal cave, kill the two bosses at the end, and then you find this secret tunnel in the boss um, arena that will lead you under the water and through to this island right here. We're going to do that later. All right? that's, what he's, that's what he's talking about. You must not forget, though, those who partake in dragon communion will one day shed their humanity, their hunger for dragon, their yearning. Only worsens until the floodgates burst, unleashing eternal torment, the strength of a mighty dragon. Magnificent, but deadly. It's no surprise that dragon communion is ruinous. All right, thanks for the warning, but uh, no, we'll be fine. All right, ta-ta, see you in the finding papers. Next, um, feeling nervous about what's coming up next, we're going to be facing an invasion. You should spend all your money. Whatever chump change you have left over, spend it on... Well, if you have a lot of money, what I recommend is going to the round table and buying some smithing stones. If you have just a little bit of chump change, spend it on arrows. So I get a little bit of chump change. Spend it on arrows. All right. Goodbye. Having done that, everybody go to Waypoint Rune Cellar, and we're going to start doing the Patches quest line. And part of that is going into Murkwater Cave, and part of that as well is taking on this invader here called Nereus. All right, and he's real tough, hombre. But stick with the slack, and you won't get whacked. <laughs> All right, wait till daytime. Put on your best physical damage negation gear. For me, that would be the Ray Lucaria helm, the Cuckoo Surcoat, and the next stat that you want to make sure you have up to the max is Slash. If you have to choose between Strike and Slash and Pierce, go with slash okay so this is a priority physical and the next priority is slash all right and for me it would be the ray Lucario gauntlets and the leggings would be muslin breeze so that gives me 25 physical and 26 slash your your mileage may vary according to what gear you picked up um talismans i would put the green turtle talisman and the newly acquired blue feathered branch sword which will give you extra defense when you're when your um, HP is low, which is, um, that's a possibility. Next, everybody hook up your newly acquired Baldur's, Baldekin's Blessing. Okay, make it easy to access. And you also want some fire grease ready to go. And as far as equipment, we can lose the bow and make sure you're not in heavy load. Still in heavy load. Oh, look at this. The blue feathered branch sword weighs 1.1 pounds. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to lose this. That will drop my physical down to 22 from 25. That's okay. Feel comfortable with that. And that will put me in medium load. And finally. Wondrous Physic. Green spill crystal tear, the other one doesn't matter. And flasks, you want lots of health. Have a go with five health, three magic. Three magic use. Wait till daytime. And we're ready to rock. Okay, as far as equipment, sacred dagger with golden battle on it, and your bloodhound's fang. All right, we're gonna gallop up the stairs. Turn to the west. Hop over. Just ignore these guys. Just passing through. Drop on down here. Once you get down to the water, turn to the right and follow the cliff side along.
Um, this beginning part, um, you may want to clear out all these guys if you want it to be a little easier. This is not absolutely necessary. What we're going to do is we're going to go down this river here, around this location here, an invader is going to appear in Arius. Um, the best strategy is to simply retreat to this point here, at which point he'll disappear and then we'll be able to access Murkwater Cave, uh, which is a much better jumping off point to take care of this invader because it's, you know, we don't want to have to go all the way back to, say, Waypoint Rune Cellar just in case you die or whatever. Alright, so that's the plan. Um, as we're coming back here, all these skeletons are going to be on our way. Um, you may want to take care of them. I always wonder if you can gun these guys down. Interesting. I don't waste good arrows on them. Let's just use regular arrows. Excellent. The only problem is they won't stay dead. But at least you can get them to drop down ahead of time. Alright, so, Sacred Blade time. Should be able to one-shot him. Assuming you're close enough. Okay, you don't have any fire grease. There's some right there. It's always there. Sorry, I had you spend all your money and I just realized killing these guys is going to give you more money. Bug off. <laughs> All right. Now you have two choices. Having come this far, you're going to get invaded. You could fight him now, or you could retreat and get him to disappear and then come back and go into Murkwater Cave. Here he comes. Let's go for this option. Just run away. This is not a cowardly move. This is a tactical displacement. <laughs> okay? You're not running away like a little girl. This is a tactical displacement. Okay, so once you get that notification that he's gone, everything's good, he disappears, you get back on your horse, and you'll have to deal with all these skeletons here because you killed them all. And you're going to gallop down the river again, you're looking for, looking for the cave opening on the right, or the left side here. Go into the cave. Discover it. Don't rest yet. Okay, now if you're worried about losing the money that you just earned once again. Go to the Church of El. Ella. Spend it on arrows. As a samurai, we're going to be using lots of arrows. Can never have too many arrows. Ah, always a pleasure. And they're nice and cheap. Okay, spend all your money on arrows. Goodbye. 
Now, back to the newly discovered Murkwater Cave. And we're going to take on Narius. He's a tough hombre. He's an invader. Okay, we're going to do this with the Bloodhound's Fang. They should take care of him no problem, as long as you can land some hits. And it's just a matter of staying alive long enough to land those hits. Okay, with all the gear I told you about earlier, and you got your Baldkin's Blessing, you got your Fire Grease, you got your Golden Vow, let's go take care of him. Up here, Golden Vow. Switch over to Bloodhound's Fang, refill FP, switch to uh, Crimson. Flask of Crimson Tears, take your Fire Grease, take your Baldicus Blessing. Here he comes, lock on. And just keep doing those Bloodhounds Fang combos. That's the Bloodhounds Finesse with the follow up strong attack. Just keep at him hard. And it's only going to take two shots to do him in. There you go. So he's done. Now I believe at this point uh, we can go up the river here to the north and meet Yura again. Unless we have to rest first. Let's find out. He should be right here. Here he is. Yura, my man. What up? Ah, we meet again. To fought Narius and live. You must have seen your share of battle. I am Yura, as you might recall. Hunter of bloody fingers, tarnished, held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots, who stalk their own. You stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. You're right. Anything else? Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. There you go. And we will meet again. In. Um. Lyurnia. But first, we have to get the Glintstone Key, gain access to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And then, well, I'll explain all the, about all that later. We're going to meet him right... Here, I believe. Anyways, we'll do that later. So that's that. Let's go do the patches... Uh, here at Murkwater Cave. Alright, patches. Here. I want everybody to hook up their Banished Knight Magic Halbert, which we put the Gravitas Ash of War on earlier. Alright, two handed. Um, let's reset our flasks to say. Four and four. Okay, get your sneak on. Turn on your lantern. And we're going to sneak into this cave. Drop down the right side here so you don't go out of sneak mode. Stay in sneak mode. You're going to watch this guy. He's going to be running back and forth. He's going to do that forever until either A, you he notices you, or B, you ring either of these two alarms. See these two chains here? 
go through those chains, it rings the bell, everybody comes out. The chain on the left will cause everybody to come out, the chain on the right will just cause four guys to come out. So what we want to do is trigger everybody to come out, and then we're just going to use the grabs as attack to wipe them out. So we'll time this correctly, wait until you just remember he runs back, he runs back, go through the chain, come back, get back in sneak mode, saying just hang out right here, and count the guys. Here comes four, wait for three more, here's two more, that's six, and one last one, make sure they're all there, everybody's present and accounted for, and let rip with that gravitas, and whammo! And another one, and whammo, and that's everybody. There you go, easiest way to take care of those guys. Plus you get some highwayman gear. But it looks like hell, so I don't know what, what that's worth. Okay, before we go see patches, let's go in here. Get some chump loot. I believe this is random ingredients. Or not. Last time I got five mushrooms as well. It seems to me one time I got something different. Okay, I'm just going to assume it's always five mushrooms. Alright, out here and to the north is the Patches boss fight, if you will. If it would be proper to call it such. Everybody hook up your Bloodhounds Fang. What's going to happen is um, Patches is going to give you the opportunity to cancel the fight or basically call a truce once you get his health down halfway and this is only going to take one or two shots with the bloodhounds fang a fully all dressed bloodhounds fang let's just go in okay nothing's going to happen until you open that chest right down there so you can get ready And what you should do is roll through all this debris here. Okay, and Patch is going to appear up there on that ledge. It's going to drop down. Best thing to do is once you're ready for him, just position yourself right beside this, this, these sacks here. And as soon as he drops down, lock on, let loose with the Bloodhounds combo. And not a combo, just the fangs. And that should be enough to do him in. Alright, so let's go Golden Bow. Switch over. Bloodhound's Fang. Refill FP. Fire Grease. Steal this stuff. Well, well, well. Go over, park yourself by the sacks. Wait right here. Turn to the west. And get ready to lock on and let rip. Demand repentance. Cough up your coin. All of it. Wait, wait, please. I, I surrender. White flag and all. And that's it. Took an extra hit. Whatever you do, don't do a follow up. Come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a lady of reason. Through and through. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't do a follow-up strong attack on your Bloodhound's Fang because um, you might accidentally kill him. So if you don't get him the first with the first Bloodhound's Finesse, just do a regular attack and you'll get his health below halfway. Okay, this gives us a Golden Rune and the Grovel from Mercy um, gesture. And let's have a little chat. Patches. Ah, well what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Mm -hmm. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Yeah, uh, okay. And you have a choice. You can either kill him or forgive and forget. We're going to forgive and forget because he actually becomes a merchant and sells some pretty good stuff. True lady of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the Untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. 
<laughs> so don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> okay, to get into setup shop, simply go back to the Murkwater Cave entrance. And you're gonna have to plow through the cave again to get to him. Actually, let me just check out something here. I'm wondering if we get him to appear at Scenic Isle. But then we have to go through the cave again. Um, where he will eventually appear after you do what I had originally planned, which is to go through the cave and talk to him again, is you go to Scenic Isle and this becomes this new like headquarters. I'm just curious if you have to go through the cave again to talk to him. Or if you could just go straight to Scenic Island, get him to appear there. And... Oh, there we go. Good, so you don't have to go through the cave again. And here he is. Oh, well. It, it's been a long while. It's me. Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top-notch. Patches Emporium. Now open in Rea Lucaria. There you go. So this is much preferable to having him set up shop in Murkwater Cave. Because like I said, every time you want to do business with him in Murkwater Cave, you have to kill all those guys, you know, through the same routine that I just showed you. And then, uh, you know, it's a pain in the arse. But here, just fast travel to Scenic Isle, here in Rea, or rather, Lyurnia. And he's right there. Okay, so this is preferable. Let's take a look at his list. wares. No, no trouble to me. He has. Uh, probably the most important thing you want to buy is his missionary's cookbook, which will allow you to make gold pickled fowl foot. You should buy that right now, definitely. And the other thing is Margot's shackle. Even though we already defeated Margot, you can also use this on Morgoth later on. And he's a much tougher uh, boss enemy than Margot. So this is actually really worth it uh, when we have the money. So now he's readily available. And everything else is pretty much, you know things that I normally wouldn't buy. Great errors I might buy. And he has a sacrificial twig. Oh. He sells the S-Doc. The prisoner's default sword. Interesting. Right, so that's it. That's patches. That. Oh wait, let's um, exhaust this dialogue. On your no, no trouble. Speaking of, and he'll tell you about uh, Raya. This By the guy. way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Okay, and you can uh, exhaust this dialogue too, where he'll tell you another way to get into the Altus Plateau. You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, uh, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have what you ever seen an be? Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. That's a lie. So I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> That's a total lie. Um, and you can get him to repeat that by s saying what you spoke of before. For that. What he's speaking of is the abductor virgin that is at the bottom of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria near the water wheel. And you do get abducted, but what happens is you get um, plunked down in the middle of the volcano manor complex, like deep down there. And you have to find your way to a site of grace in order to get out. Um, a lot of players do that on purpose, just to get access to certain gear and um, get quick access to the Altus Plateau and whatnot. Um, but 
not sure if we're going to do that this walkthrough. Anyways, table that for a later date. That is Patch's quest line up to now. He will stay here and set up shop here as long as A, you don't join the Volcano Manor, or B, actually take the Abductor Virgin thingy that he just spoke of here in the bowels of the Academy of Rail Lucaria, which will bump you out in, I think, believe the district is officially called Mount Gilmere. And once you go there, then he will relocate to the Volcano Manor. As long as you don't do two of those things, he will stay here for easy access. All right, so that's it. Um, I know this video was a ton of it, a ton of story shmory, as I call it, and NPC dialogue. Um, next video, we're going to get back to the action, back to combat. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and more informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring.